crazy with Salome. That's a goal! If you want to be able to hit shots like that, then you're at the right video. In this video, I'll share with you everything that you need to know to master the proper shooting technique to have insane shot power and accuracy. Welcome to the channel. I've been working on my shot power for the last two years, and I've seen incredible growth in my long shots. One of the first things I learned was the importance of keeping your eyes on the ball. And this may seem really obvious, but let me explain. When I was younger, I asked a coach of mine about the best goal he ever scored. And what he said was that he never saw himself score. So what was his point? He meant that as you're shooting, you need to keep your head down, focusing on striking the ball properly. When you're shooting, first take a glimpse up really quickly to see where the goal is and to check the goalkeeper's positioning. Then put your head down and watch your foot strike through the ball. Don't pick your head up. If you pick your head up as you shoot, you're far more likely to hit higher up on the ball, causing it to be a bouncy shot without any power to it. If you want to hit powerful shots, keep your head down. The standing foot is another one of the most important parts of shooting with power. When you shoot, place your standing leg about six inches from the ball and your foot pointing in the direction you want the shot to go. Your foot needs to be firmly planted and your knee should be bent slightly so that you can transition all your momentum through the ball. And speaking of that, let's analyze your run up. This is probably one of the most overlooked things when learning to shoot. Do you see this? It's no good. The first mistake in this clip is timing. Timing is matching your run up to the ball as it travels away from you so that you can shoot correctly. Notice how I stutter or skip during my run up. And this was because my timing was off and I did these stutters to match my run up with the ball. Well, sounds like I did a good thing then, right? Wrong. That leads me to the second mistake in this clip. And that is, as I'm running up, I slowed down my momentum. The whole point of running up to strike the ball is to gain speed and momentum to strike through the ball, making the shot have more power. If you stutter or slow down, you're taking power off your shots. When you're taking a shot, master the timing so that you're running up to the ball at top speed so that your standing foot is in the right position, allowing you to make good contact with the ball and that your shot has the most power possible. This is a skill that is developed by practicing hundreds or thousands of shots. Now when you're striking the ball, you want to hit the ball with this part of your foot, right on the laces of your cleats or slightly inside. You have a thick piece of bone that's curved right there. As for the ball, you want to strike it right at the middle of the ball or just below it. This will cause the ball to get off the ground and have more speed, but it will also help you stay under the bar. If you hit too low on the ball, you're going to sky the shot. On the other hand, if you hit too high on the ball, it's going to be bouncy and roll straight to the goalkeeper's hands. It's easier to hit the middle of the ball if you keep your head down like I said earlier and then watch your foot strike through the middle of the ball. Okay, sweet. You hit the ball, so you're done, right? Not quite. The job isn't done when you make contact with the ball. After you hit the ball, you need to follow through on your kicking foot. And this may feel awkward at first, and it's almost like you're jumping after you're shooting, but keep trying and eventually it'll feel natural. This is important because following through the ball ensures that you are actually using all your momentum to hit the ball. You're trying to hit the ball so hard that your momentum carries you through it. And that's describing when you land on your kicking foot. When you're doing this, make sure that you're leaning over the ball. If you lean back as you shoot, the ball is gonna go to the moon. It may seem unnecessary, but leaning over the ball as you shoot will help keep the ball low, helping it stay on target. Now that I've walked you through the technique, I have two more tips for you that'll help you master your shooting technique. First off, learn your tendencies and play to them. You do not need to have the most graceful or beautiful technique. You need to be effective. Every single goal counts the same. And this is where accuracy comes in. 
If you're right footed, when you're shooting across the goal from the right side of the field to the far post, your tendency is to pull the ball, making it go wide left. Now, when you're on the left side of the field, when you're curling the ball with your right foot, the ball comes in towards the center of the goal. So play to this. If you're shooting across the goal, aim your shot more inside the goal and don't aim for the side panel. Then when you pull the shot, you'll watch it nestle into the side panel rather than going agonizingly wide. When you're curling the ball far post, aim your shot outside the goal so that when the ball curls in, it goes in the side panel rather than down the middle to the goalkeeper's hands. The last tip I have, and the most obvious, but also the most overlooked, is that this only comes with time and practice. Don't be frustrated if you're not scoring screamers in just one week. It takes weeks or even months of consistent practice for you to see the results. Even though you know everything you need to know to score these goals, you'll never hit them without practice. Check out this video where I show you drills designed to help you put all these tips into action, creating the shots of your dreams. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.